Hi everybody, once again, just uh, showing some more artwork I've done recently. Uh, just never got around to showing until now. So, uh, anyway, without further ado, uh, of course, a uh, sort of another concept uh, thing of character I'm coming up with for a story. Uh, essentially, wakes up in a hospital and uh, doesn't know who or what he is, but. Uh, all he knows is that he's uh, sort of bandaged up like a mummy and uh, with this big zero uh, on his uh, hospital gown, whatever you call it. Subject zero. So, it's pretty cool. I mean, I uh, haven't thought of the full story yet, but um, you know, it's kind of something to go on. And uh, this is. Sergeant Franklin. Uh, well, regardless of names, I think I came up with this character already, but on a, I think another sketchbook I had done uh, recently, but it's kind of formalized here. Uh, so I used them for another story of mine, although it wasn't fully formed yet. Uh, something to hang on to. Uh, pretty good so far. Um, the only difference now is that um, he has an eye patch now instead of, uh, you know, two discolored eyes, so... So, how about that? <laughs> yeah, of course, another angel concept. He's a uh, severed head of a demon. Uh, he's essentially a uh, you know, demon slayer, uh, of course. He's uh, behind a compass, which is kind of meant to represent uh, direction. Uh, pretty cool to come up with this. And of course, giving it the uh, Renaissance feeling that I love so much. <laughs> Renaissance painting feeling. So, yeah, I think uh, I have a feeling you've probably seen this already. Uh, some Easter Bunny artwork. So, uh, just skip on through. And of course, uh, another character for a story of mine. It might as well be a comic book, I think, at this point. Uh, I think her name was Deborah or something. I knew I had it written down. Or maybe it was, yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, she's a sort of mental patient that uh, has a sphere of doctors, hence the uh, uh, plus sign in the background, or hospital sign, and uh, has to beat them off with uh, a steel pipe and uh, her... Uh, leg brace. <laughs> so uh, that was pretty fun. I mean, I, I think I made some uh, concept stuff on that. But uh, I have yet to find it. And uh, this, of course, is uh, Mr. Twist and Mr. Shock. Sorry. Mr. Twist and Mr. Shock. Uh, uh, essentially, uh, I think this came out of watching uh, Tales from the Crypt episodes. Um, it's funny because they were always featuring either uh, conjoined twins or, or uh, just twins, but they were either uh, freaks of nature or uh, was born a certain way, whatever you call it. So uh, just kind of figure, uh, you know, this is the whole formula of uh, Tales from the Crypt as a whole. It's basically, uh, there's the twist and then there's the shock. So I uh, can't go wrong with that. Uh, of course, this was an old uh, illustration I had uh, yet to complete. I was uh, going through some stuff to uh, to uh, you know either finish up or paint, and uh, this sort of came up. It was still in the the sketching phase. I'm kind of glad I finished it now. Uh, so to my liking now, though, so, uh, some things I wish I could have uh, fixed up, and of course uh, beneath their legs. Uh, I kind of messed up on the um, the blue and yellow pattern there, so uh, I had to use a, some oil paint to uh, fix that. Looks pretty okay now. So, I like it. And uh, I like this too. It's uh, just something for uh, another story of mine about killer clowns. And uh, I've yet to decide what to do with it exactly. But, uh, essentially, it's about a uh, guy who works in a 
uh, carnival circus, has a fear of clowns, and his fear is sort of, uh, you know, come to life, so he uh, becomes what he fears, and it's uh, his main character. Uh, name, Carl, Carl Phobia. I mean, hence, Cholerophobia if you're clowns, so, uh, no surprise there, and, uh, kind of a cheesy name, but, you know. Uh, I thought it was pretty clever at the time. So, anyway. It's, uh, dressed up as a mime with, uh, semi-automatic, but, you know, I don't know if they had, well, maybe not in the 30s, well, no, they didn't. But, uh, essentially, it was kind of a 1930s-esque type of, uh, you know, look to, uh, this anyway. And I think that's all that matters. <coughs> and of course, the villains were in this sort of uh, this ex mafia type of uh, you know clown troop, uh, some brutal sorts. Um, I like it. So it was pretty interesting. Just had uh, you know change up the. Uh, the style and design of everything as much as possible. So, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, uh, I don't know what to uh, say about this. Uh, I think this was fan art for a uh, character in an anime. I can't exactly recall right now, but... Uh, well, it was sort of something I... Uh, something I had going on, but I never quite finished. Um, I have now, and I uh, don't know if I could have done something different. Maybe I can. Uh, so there's something that, uh, you know, doesn't exactly work for me. I'll just, um, you know, fix it up uh, later on. So I think this is just one of those things. And, of course, uh, this is that uh, interesting day where uh, I almost met Tim Burton, but it didn't. Yeah, and that's yours truly. So, quite an interesting day, although it's kind of something that uh, I have to be honest about. It's kind of uh, lingering over my head for quite some time. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's something that gives me a mixed feeling, sort of, to this day, but, uh, you know, what, what would have that been like if I had met him or not? You know, well, it was just nice to, uh, you know, draw the sort of thing out. I mean, that, that's all it was, just sort of uh, an exorcism, so to speak. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. And last but not least, uh, something I call the, uh, the Toy Master, or Fairy with uh, Toy Maker. Uh, essentially, I wanted something a little more, uh, I guess, Hans Christian Andersen, uh, Grimm's fairy tales sort of thing, but just going with this kind of uh, modernized look. Um, I kind of wanted something more uh, ar you know, artistic going on, but uh, I didn't think it was kind of uh, working out with uh, the elements here, because uh, this fairy, of course, was uh, designed a little different. Kind of with this neo, uh, neo futuristic look, so I just kept that in mind. And the gears were sort of meant to be flowers, but um, well, sort of changed them just to uh, just kind of clock gears, which you know kind of really resemble flowers anyway in a certain uh, sense. Uh, I sort of like this. It kind of looks like a you know, an entry to a stage or whatever, but, uh, you know, I really like it. It's pretty nice. And, uh, I just love that, uh, sort of crank or lever thing, whatever it is, that's, uh, on his head. <laughs> Twisty thing. Well, so that's uh, about it. I'll just, uh, leave it here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. So, uh, take care. Thank you so much. Okay.